You are now listening to Tough Tiger Talk Flash Report. You're now rocking with Tough Tiger Talk on the PRO Media Network. I'm Big Q chiming on with this installment of Tough Tiger Talk. As the 2023 recruit class keeps pouring them on, keeps pouring them on, and it keeps elevating as LSU, Brian Kelly doing the damn thing. Uh, two defensive ends agree to join uh, the 2023 LSU staff, man, in terms of the football program. As defensive ends, Deshaun Womack, who's number 93rd in the 2023 SPN 300, is set to join LSU Tigers football program, hoping to go against the best. So LSU continues to turn it on. This is from ESPN. As it showed, the LSU picked up a pair of defensive line recruits in Deshaun Womack and Darren Reed this past Monday. Now, Womack, a defensive event from St. Francis Academy in Baltimore. It's ranked number 93rd in, in the ESPN 300s. And then they were just saying, this was the quote, that they were just telling me how much they really wanted me and I can help be a part of the gang and how I'll be a great player building the defense, Womack said. They were basically telling me how tough they're going to be. Now he's six foot four, 255 pounds. He chose LSU over Georgia, Mississippi, and currently LSU's highest ranked recruit for the 2023 staff. Womack is the Tigers' seventh ESPN 300 recruit for this cycle. Of course, we just talked about uh, the fact that LSU did add a five-star wide receiver, which makes him the highest as we keep turning the thing out. So three of the seven reside on the defensive line, Womack, Jackson, Howard, and New Hope, Minnesota. Josh Mickens from Indianapolis, as you can see, 118, uh, 283. And Howard committed to the Tigers on Friday while Mickens followed suit on Sunday. Jamar Kane spurned Lincoln Riley at USC to join Brian Kelly's staff as the defensive line coach and his impact is quickly showed on the recruiting front. He, big shout out Jamar Kane, is doing the damn thing. He's recruiting the hell out of these guys, man, and doing a great job. Now he said, I know that the SEC is one of the best in college football and I know, and I know they'll develop D, good D linemen. I just want to compete, Womack said. I just always wanted the competition. I always wanted to to go against the best now reed he's six foot five 260 pound defensive end from carver high school in columbus georgia and, and is considered a four-star recruit by espn now reed opted for the tigers over ohio state in miami and his quote was i just wanted to play wherever i fit he said as long as i can do what i need to do i can make it in the nfl wherever i go so big ups to both these young players both reed and womack as they join a very tough uh, LSU recruiting class of 2023. You think that's it? Proverbial chips for LSU's continue to fall as Jeremiah Hughes commits to LSU. He calls it his dream school. And this is coming by way of uh, uh, ON3.com. As LSU came with an offer late in February in April, Brian Kelly and the staff got Jer Jeremiah Hughes on campus for the first time. And at the official visit to Baton Rouge in June, the versatile athlete out of Las Vegas, Bishop Garmin, knew he wanted to play for the Tigers. He says, it was a very tough decision from Arkansas, but LSU is a great school. I felt wanted and I chose them, Hughes told on three. Now, growing up in Arkansas, Hughes had his eye on the Razorback, but he still has family there. And as a kid, watching the home state school play helped put LSU on his radar. So his big uh, commentary was that he was, that the new staff at LSU and really impressed him. He said, Brian Kelly leads the way as the coach and he's someone Hughes and his family is really fond of. Let's start with Robert Peoples though, the defensive back coach that recruited the three star out of the top high school program in the country. He said, as soon as I met Coach Steeples, I knew he was down earth guy that I that wants the best for me. He said, I like him, his style, his ability to coach a lot. So credit to Coach uh, Kelly for bringing along guys like uh, Coach Kane. And then, of course, bringing the guys like Coach Steeples. These guys know how to coach and he has a very serious staff in LSU is doing the damn thing. And of course, it don't hurt when you see guys like Tyron Matthew and Lorraine Landry and some of those guys come out of programs like that so once again big shout out to uh jeremiah hughes another commitment for the 2023 class for lsu as we continue to build this thing and listen that 2023 recruiting class is skyrocketing and then finally for this installment of tough tiger talk another 2023 recruit and this was a new one as wit wit weeks joins the increasingly impressive 2023 class and lsu added another weeks to its impressive recruiting month saturday three-star georgia prospect wit weeks became the tigers ninth commitment in nine days to start july including eight for the 2023 class coach kelly and the program's new staff extended the offer in mid-january and in the first weeks in baton rouge and just days before wit's older brother west 
Weeks announced his transfer from Virginia. And so the younger Weeks took unofficial visit to LSU in March and April and followed an official in June. And he said he cemented his choice over the other options like Oklahoma, Ole Miss, and his hometown Georgia school. So he's six foot two, he's 215 pounds. Uh, he's an athlete, spoke highly throughout his recruiting process of the growing relationships with Coach Kelly, defensive coordinator Matt House, and the staff, the program, tradition, and vision, the university's campus, and of course, the food. He loves the food down there. Who wouldn't, man? You hear me? He said, but we told Tigers detail in April that a re that rapper with other members of the 23 class would be another important factor for his eventual decision. He said the opportunity to connect at the spring game and then recent LSU commitments such as defensive back Michael Doherty from Georgia and Ryan Yates from Texas and other targets have given him a good feel for the Tigers' potential class. So a lot of great stuff going on. And of course, as we do a recap, the first commitment of the month came July the 1st is Jackson Howard, the highly ranked two-way Minnesota athlete expected to play defensive end in Baton Rouge. And then defensive ends Josh Mickens from Indianapolis and Darren Reed from Georgia. Deshaun Womack from Baltimore were the other four additions during the 4th of July weekend. And then in order to be a good linebacker, you have to have good players in front of you, Week said, as our class from D-line is crazy and tons of stuff so the Tigers have also had defensive backs Ashton Stamps from Rummel, Jeremiah Hughes from Vegas, and Monday and Thursday, respectively, a secondary hall that previously included Doherty, Yates, and Austin from Long Beach, California. So Jonesboro Josh uh, uh, Hodge, linebacker Xavier Atkins, announced his commitment Tuesday for the 2024 class, and an elite Miami, Florida receiver Jalen Brown joined the 2023 cohort uh, this past Friday. So quick breakdown as uh, Will Weeks brother Whit Weeks joins the Tigers impressive haul of players as we got this thing crunked so with that being said we're going to jump out on that appreciate all you guys for uh, supporting Tough Tiger Talk please feel free to hit the like button hit the subscribe button continue to share the show on your social media feed I'm Big Q great class and great 2023 class 2022 is looking good the future is bright for LSU football I'm going to check out on that much love to you guys and go Tigers Subscribe to the Tough Tiger Talk channel and stay up to date for all things LSU football.